Hi everyone, this is Janet from Mixed Media Mama. I want to come to you today with this journal. It is my ugly bug book. I've been working on this for a while. I've been researching a lot longer than, um, than that, but I wanted to show you. A friend of mine had inspired me to um, think about ugly bugs, and so I had thought about it and talked to my uh, niece, who is an entomologist, and uh, we kind of she inspired me and uh, my friend inspired me. So I went to town on this ugly bug book. I thought it was is so cute. Um, now, my version of ugly bugs is not gross bugs. My version of bugs is really just unique different bugs. Um, there's the pictures in here are not gross and really cute actually. Um, but they're unusual, the unusual bugs like praying mantis and things like that. So, um, let's just go take a look. Um, it is made out of a faux leather. It is a soft cover, um, with, it is bound with, um, this leather, belt my husband was going to throw it out and I said no I'm going to use that so it is contained by that um, it has four signatures a hollow back binding and it's very soft covered so you can tell that it has a lot of room to grow so let's just go with this and go into it Okay, the front cover is, the first thing on the front cover, it is actually a wine sack, you know, the old wine sacks. I just cut it down, glued the sides together, and now it, it is a tuck. It's a nice deep. Um, and here is, these are just like the pictures of the ugly bugs is what I have said. I want to do a shout out to the Photo Dye Company. Um, I got this from my scrapbooking store in Columbus, Nebraska, and this is the greatest dye because I use the positives and the negatives, and it is just so fun to use that and incorporate it throughout the whole, the whole book. Um, and then the first page is just kind of a technique that I had seen Wendy from Wendy's Journal Adventure. Hi, Wendy. Um, and to use this, this is just a, a nice, and I incorporated the bugs as much as I could too. And um, the paper is Stamperia paper and then vintage um, coffee dyed um, paper. A lot of um, tuck spots and collages um, and you know, really, this is how I, I did the whole tuck spots. Um, a lot of the papers are ledgers and vellum and then just tea dyeing. This is just a um, belly band right here. And, of course, a nice little pocket. And there is a pocket on the top, too. I did sew in a lot of the pages. Of the smaller pages, I just didn't. There is also a ton of areas that you can write in. Um, I also provided a lot of um, ephemera. That's what this is. Um, as And you can write on the back of the, it. You can tuck a picture in there. If you much rather have, I'm gonna use that. If you much rather have it as a photo album, you can do that also. This is just a, a flip out and you can write on the back. Just a piece of scrapbooking paper, vellum. I have not counted how many pages I have. Isn't that just so pretty? I use, I think I said I used Stamperia. This is just a old technique that I had watched off of YouTube. Uh, Pat Patricia Vermontes. Excuse me if I'm mispronouncing your name. But I think that was part of her technique. So a lot of these, and of course the collages are mine, but a lot of these envelope techniques are not mine. I'm going to give credit to where credit is due, um, just because that, that's what I believe so much. And this one is a nice little envelope tuck. Up top, there's a nice long, you can have that long envelope, or not long tag. Here's a nice little 
tuck, and there's another one. So three packet. Then if you go to the side, there's a fourth. That is just a really easy, 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 easy speezy. Here's a, a double envelope. If you have any questions, please ask um, either down below or message me. I just love, love that. Just love those, that die, how that, and I integrated that into. And here's just another little card from the paper pack that I used. Now, if things like that you don't like, then just take it out. And there again. And this is a nice little tuck there, tuck there, tuck there. And of course, this is the other side of that um, wine bag. Here's another, no, nope, that's just the two. Oh, and there's a pocket right there. I always try to incorporate multi-uses of things, just like with this. Uh, this is a nice little pocket right here. And there is a... Yeah, there is a, a nice large pocket there and a nice little pocket right here. And of course, a nice pocket right there. And same thing, pocket, pocket, tuck. I just love these papers. This was just such such neat, neat, neat papers. And of course, I also, on some of my tags, I just um, pulled from the book that I was using. And that's the thing about these ugly bug books, or maybe bugs in general, but I really was trying to look for the non-common bugs, like butterflies, ladies, beetles, that, you know, that type of a thing. I wanted to have the mantis, praying mantis, um, the Katie did, um, the different ones that, you know, you might not know a lot about. And that's just a little belly band. And it took me a long time to really just, um, research, find enough. Um, I had to look for a lot of, um, a lot of entomology books or insect books, because, you know, it's, I was looking for spe something specific. Nice little tag used of leftover paper. And there another little pocket. So there you can see there is a lot of writing space if you journal. And this is a flip over. It goes over a nice little, you know, little paper pad right there. And a nice little pocket. And it just flips right over the top of the page. It's almost like a bookmarker. Yeah, I really had a lot of, a lot, a lot of fun with this. Um, and there again is just another envelope. And you can see here's another piece of that negative of that photo die. It is just really neat and some strips of the photo die and how it totally incorporated. And there is another little tuck spot there. dyed vellum a nice long tag I thought that was I really liked loved how that looked it almost gave it a retro look with that and here's a, a nice little flip out I'm going to pull this over and loved how all of that and here is a tag And of course you can you can write all the time or put pictures there. A nice another little envelope tag and there's a little pocket behind it. And this is my last signature and a lot of writing space. Lots of areas for tuck spots. There's one and there's one. And see so all of that. That is just I love how all that turned out. Anytime you see a little indention like that, that's usually indication that, that you can put something in there. Of course, I just used leftover 
And I believe I, of all of the photo dye, um, dyes that I cut out, and I think I pretty much used all of it. There might have been a few little snips, but I really tried to use all of that. I just thought that was neat. And here's another, oh, let's just, here's another little paper pad and you can, and it flips up. And of course, there's text spot right here. I thought that was neat. Uh, assassin bugs. I thought that was kind of cool. I mean, they might be ugly, but they really do have a lot of good in the world. They have a lot of good use. And I even had a stamp. Look at that. <laughs> oh, just cracks me up. I love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, that's just luscious. I love how that turned out. All right, and that's about it. Um, I did do some um, stenciling, too, and all kinds of different places you can use. And then that is the back cover right there. And there is one, two, three four and that is it that is it and um, this is for sale um, and if you're interested you can pm me or message me um, i am on please like and thank you for sub subscribing um, i am on instagram under mixed media mama and it's m-o-m-m-a not m-a-m-a m-o-m-m-a mixed media mama and thank you and i hope you're having a great day take care now bye